Good day everyone! I am Madalmay D. Ahera, a second year student of Bachelor of Elementary Education and for today's video, I am going to talk about teaching methods for science teaching in the elementary school. Supplementary method, the use of human or material resources, community-oriented. So, let's start! Use of human material resources, community-oriented. Human resources. There is a full range of human resources that are essential for success. These resources include planners, administrators, teachers, mentors, managers, and support staff. Here, we focus on teachers as one of the critical aspects of human resource commitment. Human resources in school are plenty. Hence, it becomes very important to effectively manage them. This is where human resources team plays an important role. Human resources management can help in increasing student performance. This happens due to the involvement and motivation of the teachers. Furthermore, human resource management also tries to make more efficient teachers. Efficient teachers help in better development of students. Study after study shows that quality teaching is the most powerful factor in student learning. There are three critical domains of supportive interactions in good teaching. Emotional support, organizational support, and instructional support. What is emotional support? Emotional support refers to the ways teachers help children develop warm, supportive relationships, experience enjoyment and excitement about learning, feel comfortable in the classroom, and experience appropriate levels of autonomy or independence. Emotional support includes positive connection of teacher and students, low level of negativity expressed by teacher and students, teacher sensitivity to students' needs, and teachers' regards for students' interests, motivation, and points of view. Positive interaction between teachers and their students play an important role in determining student success. Research showed that increasing positive interactions, for example, praise statements and decreasing negative interactions, improves the classroom climate as well as student academic and behavioral outcomes. Communication motivates the students to enhance their abilities. It also encourages the students to work hard. Therefore, it is very important and necessary that the teachers should communicate with students in an effective manner. The way the teachers communicate with their students can positively affect the students' perceptions of school, their role in the classroom, themselves, and their abilities and their motivation to succeed. Poor communication skills and thus poor methods of teaching cause students' comprehension levels to drop and may affect their academic progress negatively. It could also lead to students lacking motivation, disliking school, and believing themselves to be unable to achieve. Therefore, effective communication between teachers and students is extremely important. It allows teachers to perform their job well with positive results for their pupils. Teacher sensitivity is not about how nice or caring teachers are. Rather, it is about how teachers consistently demonstrate awareness and responsiveness to children's current academic and emotional abilities and needs. Genuinely being in tune with those that we support and educate is a goal worthy to strive toward every day for teachers. It supports learners who are able to share their ideas freely and challenge themselves frequently. The degree to which teachers' interactions with students and classroom activities plays an emphasis on students' interests, motivations, and points of view. Teachers demonstrate effective regard for student perspectives by placing an emphasis on students' points of view and by encouraging their responsibility and autonomy. This teacher is flexible, going along with the student's ideas and encouraging his expression. Understanding your students' interests will help you to provide them with quality learning opportunities. By giving them the opportunity to explore areas they are interested in, for example, the environment, they will be more likely to engage with the learning process. 
Classroom organization refers to the ways teachers help children develop skills to regulate their own behavior, get the most learning out of each school day, and maintain interests in learning. Classroom organization includes behavior management and classroom productivity. Behavioral management refers to how well teachers monitor, prevent, and redirected misbehavior. Behavior management is a series of steps taken to help guide individuals to become motivated to change their actions and interactions. In schools, this can mean helping students change their in-class behavior, make better choices, or altering bad habits. Behavior management is important in the classroom, not least because it creates an appropriate environment for learning to take place. If there are clear boundaries, then children are enabled to develop positive behavior such as respect towards each other. Productivity it refers to how well the classroom runs with respect to routines, how well students understand the routine, and the degree to which teachers provide activities and direction so that the maximum time can be spent in learning activities. In education, productivity is often taken to mean using the inputs and processes of schooling in ways that increase desired outcomes. The most common measures of outcomes have been students' academic achievement while they are in school. It is often measured by scores on standardized tests and students' performance upon entering the labor market. The more productive you are, the larger the number of positive desired outcomes. As the number of desired successful outcomes increases, the student gets closer to achieving his or her task or any goal they want to achieve. What is instructional support? It refers to the ways in which teachers effectively support students' cognitive development and language growth. Instructional support includes learning strategies, concept development, quality of feedback, and language modeling. Instructional support includes learning strategies. It is how teachers engage students in activities and facilitate activities so that learning opportunities are maximized. Strategies help students begin to understand the process of learning. It helps students to bypass their areas of weakness and to perform at the level at which they are capable. Strategies promote flexible thinking and teach students the importance of shifting their approaches to different tasks. Effective teachers must implement a variety of teaching strategies in order to meet the diverse needs of the students. As educators, teachers must acknowledge that all students learn differently and their responsibility is to implement different strategies to meet the needs of the students. When a teacher is planning an effective lesson, he or she must take in consideration the different needs of the students and understand that students have different learning styles. Concept development. It refers to how teachers use instructional discussions and activities to promote students' higher order thinking skills and cognition. Concept development is important because it forces the teacher to have a very clear understanding and definition of what is being taught and it provides a written reference for students. It is important so students can generalize new situations in school and real life. Quality of feedback. It refers to how teachers extend students' learning through their participation in activities. Feedback supports students to understand what is to be done and how to improve their performance. It also enables a teacher to see how teaching practice can be improved and which teaching and learning strategies are more likely to be effective. Language modeling. The extent to which teachers facilitate and encourage students' language development. Language modeling describes how teachers intentionally encourage, respond to, and expand on children's language. In summary, the use of human or material resources is essential. These resources made teaching and learning easier, thus upping students' academic outcomes. They enable the learners to understand and grasp the information from a given text. 
it made learning a lot more creative, innovative, and better. And that's it for today's video and I hope you've learned a lot. Once again, I am Madal Maydi Ejera, a second year student of Bachelor of Elementary Education. And thank you very much for watching. Bye!